let's do some Sanskrit translation practice. For beginners, try the Bhagavad Gita. The Sanskrit is very simple to start with. Bhagavad Gita 3.3. Sri Bhagavan Uvacha Loke Asmin Grividha Nishtha Pura Prokta Maya Anagha Jnana Yogena Sankhyanam Karma Yogena Yoginam Here are some given words so you don't have to use the dictionary. Nishtha is state, position or stance, and broadly a viewpoint or a worldview. Anagha means faultless. My translation. Sri Bhagavan, God, masculine, nominative, singular. Uvacha, said. It's the remote past third person singular of uh, the Sanskrit root vach. Loke, in the realm. Masculine, locative, singular. Asmin, this, and it refers to realm as in in this realm. Masculine, proximate, demonstrative, pronoun, locative. The adjective and noun have to be in agreement in Sanskrit. The vividha, two types, or twofold. Feminine, nominative, singular. Nishta, position. Feminine, nominative, singular. Pura, before. Prokta, pra, utta. Fourth said, feminine, past participle, singular of uh, vach, plus the Prefix pra meaning fourth. Maya by me, first person pronoun instrumental. Anagha, faultless one, refers to Arjuna in the vocative. Anagha means faultless, the faultless one because it refers to Arjuna. Jnana yogena, path of knowledge. Jnana yogena, by jnana yoga. Masculine, singular, instrumental, Sankhyanam, of the Sankhyas, who were philosophers that tried to reason in the world by use reasoning. Sankhya literally means numbers. Feminine genitive plural. Karma Yogena, by Karma Yoga, or by the path of action. Masculine, instrumental, singular. Yoginam, of the yogis. Masculine genitive plural of yogin, which we translate as yogi. Now, my translation in full. God said in this realm, the two fold positions are forth said before by me, faultless one, by Gnana Yoga of the Samkhyas, by Karma Yoga of the Yogis. Prabhupada's translation. Let's compare. The Supreme Personality of the Godhead said, the Supreme Personality of God is how Prabhupada translates the word Bhagavan consistently. O sinless Arjuna, I have already explained that there are two classes of men who try to realize the self. Some are inclined to understand it by empirical, philosophical speculation, and others by devotional service. Prabhupada does stay faithful to the translation, but he kind of elaborates on it, so it's easier to understand without using footnotes. I was very close.